UConn Soccer won their 12th regular season Big East Championship on Saturday when they defeated Providence 2 to nothing on Senior Day. So from day one, we were capable of doing it. We had a couple bumps along the way, but in the end of the day, we, we were able, to, we were able to, uh, to get it done. I'm very proud of our class, very proud of all our players. You know, it really was a great effort tonight. You know, guys really stepped up tonight. You know, we had the season on the line, you know, winning it, so, uh, you know, that definitely motivated guys. We have two big steps to go. We need to focus on the next game. That's on Saturday night, and, you know, that, that's it. You know, the guys earned it. We didn't, they didn't give it to us. We earned it, you know, and it's a big accomplishment. This eight-member senior class has been extremely accomplished. With only two losses at home in four years, they have the second highest win percentage of any class under head coach Ray Reed. I didn't even know we did have that, but because uh, we just come out here and play, but uh, I'm glad that we can we can end the the regular season like this. We'll celebrate it, you know, today, but we need to move on tomorrow. You know what? Well, we need to put it behind us. That looks looks forward, you know, for the Big East tournament because you know this is not the big thing. We won the big thing. I mean, I've been here for four years, and it feels like I've been here a week. Time flew by, but uh, the experiences I've had here, it's just unbelievable. I'm just happy that I could walk out with them. Just a group, great group of guys. Carlos Alvarez scored the first goal midway into the first half when he kicked in his own rebound off a missed PK. So I need to put it behind the net. I don't need to get the second chance. At, but you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. and It's a plus. But at the end of the day, I need to learn from it and just keep improving my PKs. Well, he's missed the clutch for us, and... You know, it's a total show. It was fantastic. Nick Zaniga, Andre Sergio, Mike McCarter, Georgie, Colin, Max, Flo, you know, everybody. Just, I'm, I'm tickled pink for the boys. I'm very, very proud of them. And to get that early goal, I mean, it changed the game completely. They started stepping up more. You know, it allowed us to get, you know, attack a lot more and get that second goal. Mamadou Jof got insurance for the Huskies minutes after a brief confrontation with the Friars goalie. Uh, Colin got the ball in the middle. I kind of inched my way forwards. He played it, kind of hit the back of my heel, kind of bounced around, and I was lucky to get a touch over to Mamadou, and, you know, he does what he does best. He just finished it. The Hussies got decisive revenge on the Friars and advanced into postseason play in search of their 20th Big East championship. It was just like a, you know, like a playoff game, you know. We need to prepare, and now we're in playoffs, and we keep, either we keep winning, we keep advancing, or we lose, and we're out, so... We know what's in stake, and we just need to keep humming and keep working hard each day. Well, you could see it on the field. You know, guys are buzzing, you know, a lot of excitement. I think, uh, you know, we're in the right state of mind going into the postseason. We're going for three trophies. We just have one now. We're just going to build on it. UConn's home unbeaten streak remains intact at 35 games. The Huskies now will begin postseason play starting Saturday, November 3rd. Stay connected with UConnHuskies.com for continuing coverage of UConn soccer. Reporting from Moroni Stadium, this is Patrick Bercy for Huskies All Access.